Do you own a computer? Do you play Roblox on this computer? Do you play games like Fortnite and get over two to three hundred FPS, but then when you switch back to your favorite game, Roblox, you only get anywhere from 2 to 60 FPS max? Does your Phantom Forces gameplay look like this? Well then, do I have a solution for you, my friend? Introducing my half full glass of orange juice, unless it's half empty. All right, what's going on guys? So today I'm gonna be basically showing you guys how to uncap the frames situation or like the FPS situation in Roblox because the maximum amount of FPS that you can get in Roblox is 60 FPS, which like, you know, it's not that bad because 60 FPS is really, really smooth and stuff like that, but it's just not like the smoothest, you get me? And just in case you don't really know what FPS is, I'll just give you an example, for example, so like, an example for example oh my god you're an idiot so like that gameplay that you guys saw in the beginning of the video was like phantom forces in like 2 fps which is like right here as well and then this right here is actually 60 fps phantom forces so it's like a huge difference it's basically how the game runs and looks on the computer and stuff like that so yeah basically in this video i'm going to show you guys how to uncap the fps issue or the fps lock that they have on roblox so that you guys can basically have like unlimited frames or whatever just depending on how good your pc is so if you guys have not already go ahead and subscribe like the video if you guys enjoyed this and definitely sure to like share this with your friends and stuff like that make sure that they subscribe Subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you guys are, you know, a part of the most lit Roblox YouTube channel. It's like the easiest thing. But real quick, one thing I do want to stress is that this may not work on every single computer. It, sh it should work on all PCs, but it might not work on Mac. I haven't even tried it on my Mac computer just because it's like broken. So I don't think I'm going to end up trying it on there. But if you do have a Mac and you're watching this, you can try it. But I don't know if it's going to work because it uses the command prompt on the PC. So, you know, I don't know if Mac has a command prompt that maybe it'll work, but I'm not too sure. So if you're on Mac, you might be out of luck. But if you're on PC, it should work. Now, one thing I do also want to stress as well is that it really does depend on what type of computer that you have because like basically if you have like an okay computer and you're already running um, Roblox but it doesn't even hit the 60 FPS mark for example my computer is like you know it's custom built or whatever so I have a GTX 1080 Ti which is my graphics card and then I have an Intel i7 uh, core processor for the CPU and Roblox itself runs on the CPU and one thing that I was really oh my god bro Roblox if you are watching this video please just like switch Roblox from running on the CPU to the GPU it makes everything so much easier because even when I'm using this FPS uncapped or whatever I still get like three to four hundred frames per second on Fortnite and I get like what maybe 150 to 200 frames on Roblox dude. and that's because of my CPU if the Roblox were to run on the GPU I would be getting no I don't even know I <laughs> infinity like if I can run Fortnite at 300 to 400 FPS that's Fortnite like we're, we're gonna be playing Roblox okay like that should be I should be getting like a thousand FPS but I'm only getting like 150 because it runs on the CPU so yeah it really does depend on your computer so if your computer doesn't even hit 60 FPS you can check that by pressing shift and F5 in game if your computer can't even get up to like 60 FPS this might not work but you can still try it but if it already hits 60 FPS if it's a good computer this should work for you all right guys so it's a really really simple and easy process what I'm gonna do for you guys I'm gonna leave this link down in the description below and what I might actually do because I don't know because like every single time that I leave a link down in the description below for something like this like something that a lot of people want to get it sometimes crashes the website or like the, this like you know file gets taken off I don't really know anyway so if this website does get taken down um just let me know down in the comments below and then check back in like 24 hours what I'm probably gonna end up doing is I'll just like upload it somewhere myself so that I can you know like update the description and then like just just check back in like 24 hours just in case it doesn't work like if this website does not pop up if all this stuff that I'm seeing right now doesn't pop up I will put it onto another website and I'll update it within 24 hours all right so basically what you're gonna want to do links in the description down below so just click it with me and then basically just press a clone or down Download. It's gonna show all these little like files and stuff like that. This is basically what you're gonna be downloading. It basically shows you know how to use it and stuff like that. So basically, all you're gonna want to do is just press clone or download. Download zip. If you press open in desktop, it basically brings you to this thing, and it's actually gonna make you download the actual program that um you know the files on or whatever. But you don't really need that. So anyway, once you press that, it should download. Um, it depends on what browser you're using as well. I'm on Google Chrome, but it should be in the downloads folder. So basically, what you're gonna want to do is just press it. It's gonna have you extract the folder. I've already extracted because I've been using it. So basically, just like double click on the zip file, extract it into an actual folder. So so what I actually have, or I don't have it right now, but what you would want to do is I'll just like make a new folder. I'll call it like FPS Unlocker. And then basically I'll just like drag it into here. So basically once you do that and you basically make the folder, drag it in there, just open it up. It's going to be called RBX FPS Unlocker Dash Master. You just open that up and you're going to have all this different stuff. You really don't need to mess with any of this. The only thing you really need is this injector. This is the actual thing that opens up the command prompt, which is going to end up opening in like a few seconds. It takes a while. Wait, Windows protect your PC don't run. I deleted it just so I could make this video. So I forget exactly. I think it makes you, oh. 
Oh, more info. Run anyway. Okay, okay, okay. It may seem a little bit sketchy, but it does work. I've been using it for like two weeks already, and I haven't had a problem with my computer or anything like that. So you can trust me. I promise it does work. Um, I got this from a friend. When it comes to these types of things, like I'm just like you. Like I don't want to download a virus on my computer or anything like that. So I did have somebody else do it for me before I ended up downloading on here. I don't want to make a video on like just like scamming you or whatever. Like I don't want to make a video on like something that's gonna end up making a virus on your computer. It's like 100% legit, 100% good. It does not slow down your computer at all. Sometimes it might glitch or whatever, just because you know it's it's Roblox and Roblox might not like I don't know Roblox might like reject it or whatever. So it might just close down Roblox, but you can just reopen it anyway. So basically, what you're gonna want to do is just press the injector. This will pop up. This is the command prompt, and it just says waiting for Roblox. So if I go over here, just open up like a Roblox page. What I'm gonna actually do is just show you guys what it looks like without it. So I'm gonna close this down real quick, open up Roblox, and I'll show you guys how to do the whole like check your FPS or whatever. So basically, once you get into the game, all you have to do is just press Shift F5 at the same time, and then it shows. Basically, I'm getting 59 to 60 FPS because you know Roblox is trash at like it, it just go. I, it should be sitting at 60 FPS and not even flickering like that. But basically, this is what it's gonna look like basically without the injector in it yet. So I'll give you like a little bit of gameplay, I guess. I'll get like a quick kill or two. Got myself my trusty RPK 74, dude. Best gun in the game, personally. Get this little double. Oh, and then he kills me. Anyway, basically, that's what it looks like in 60 FPS, right? So now that you guys have seen what it looks like in basically regular 60 FPS, like 59, 60 FPS, just because Roblox caps it, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with the capper on it. But I'm gonna let you know right now, it's probably gonna look exactly the same simply because all my videos are in 60 FPS. Anybody who plays any game and they're getting over 60 FPS, they have to render it in 60 FPS just because YouTube doesn't let you upload videos with more FPS, which kind of sucks. But when you guys actually try it out yourself, you're definitely gonna feel a difference. Like for example, when I'm playing in 60 FPS, I can see a bunch of like cuts and stuff like that. When I'm playing with the FPS capper, then it like, it doesn't have any drops or anything like that. It just looks like 100% crisp and clear. Anyway, so I'm gonna quickly open up my FPS unflocker folder, open up this, open up the injector, which is gonna open up the command prompt. They say waiting for Roblox. Let's go on to Google Chrome, press play. And then once I get into the game, I'll be able to press shift F5 and see how much FPS I'm actually getting. All right, so now we're on the loading screen. I'll press shift F5 and boom, we're getting what? Like, I don't know, it's being all weird. Seven, eight, 900 FPS right now. Did it hit a thousand or something? No, it didn't. It actually moved because it might have hit a thousand actually. But yeah, so we're basically gonna be playing Roblox in what, like 500 FPS? I don't know. It usually just goes down because it's like on the loading screen right now. And just because it runs on the CPU, if it was running on my GPU, I'd be getting straight up 1000 FPS, dude. But look, as you can see, we're, get, we're getting basically 170 to 200 FPS while playing Roblox, which is like unheard of basically. Like nobody plays Roblox like, you know, like this. But basically, oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, H hold on. But yeah, basically the difference that I see, I'm playing like all on all ultra graphics. I have my graphics all the way up, you know, as you can see. So, oh, actually it shows performance stats. What does that show? All right, so as you can see on the top, it shows the CPU. This, the first one is actually memory, which is like red or orange. I don't really know exactly what that one's for. Um, So I guess Roblox is using up a bunch of memory. Um, Also the CPU, there's actually something going on. It's green, so it's actually working well just because, you know, I have, a, I have a relatively good CPU. And then the GPU, just because Roblox doesn't run on the GPU at all, it just doesn't even show anything for the GPU. I don't know what sent, received, and physics do, uh, but my receive seems to be making a bunch of orange now. I don't know why. Anyway, so basically, once I press shift at five, it's going to show me I'm getting basically 150 to 200 frames per second right now while playing Roblox, which is actually pretty nice. Personally, I see a big difference when I'm playing. You guys probably don't really see much of a difference just because of like how it rendered or whatever, but like there is a huge difference. So if you have a computer that can run it, definitely try this out, dude. Links in the description. You can try it out for yourself. It is so nice. It makes any game you play really, really smooth. Honestly, I feel like any game to test it out with, any game to test out your FPS out on would definitely have to be Phantom Forces since this is a super high like FPS um FPS intensive game but yeah guys that's basically how to uncap your FPS if you guys like if I went a little bit too fast I don't think I went a little bit too fast I think I went pretty slow this video is like pretty long actually but yeah that's basically how you uncap the FPS it's really really nice it's a really nice addition and I'm sure like a lot of people are gonna be getting like a lot of clips and stuff like that using this injector so I can't wait to see like a bunch of montages and like videos of people just using it and it's gonna be it's gonna be really really nice so yeah so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did definitely sure to leave a like subscribe if you haven't already um if this really really did help definitely be sure to like like it subscribe show your friends if you guys want them to actually have this mps unlocker as well it's something really really cool definitely something that should not be a secret because we want roblox to make it so that you don't need this uncapper it, it can just be uncapped like automatically so oh my god let me get this triple i thought i saw a fourth one Oh yeah, he's right over here. Oh, he left. Rip. But yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, guys, I will see you guys on the next one.
no more Bunch of bitches out the hottest, he tryna see which one they claim when they ask him More than which one I'ma claim on my tax report